Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to City Skylines and the town of Animalia. We're building a new district because we have an enormous residential demand and we're thinking high density. So, this is our district. We're going to be painting it in with high density. We've uh, just going to marquee tool the lot of this because we want it to be all high, 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 sexy, high density. So, first things that we also need to start looking at is, well, we need to attach it to our power grid. Well, we've already made power grid over here from our previously aborted attempts at doing some kind of dam. So let's plug it in over the top over there and let's start laying down our water. Fortunately we've already got our water supplies providing us with a happy amount of water. Just make sure we've got covering everything here so I'm not being as efficient as I would like to be. I mean, in a perfect world, what I would have done is I would have arranged these districts to have been exactly the right size. Quiet phone. I would have arranged these districts to be exactly the right size. So there wouldn't have been the slightest bit of overlap. Um, apparently we've got a new district we can buy. Hmm. Worry about that later. We haven't filled up the ones we're currently in. Um, my plan, overall, out of the way, is to build a center, center, center point district in this area. So this is actually going to be the edge of the city. So we're going to do a three by three grid. So ooh, we are rapidly approaching the point where we we'll get ourselves a solar power plant. Doesn't produce electricity in the dark, which is half the game. So we'll have to wait and see about that one. But yeah, that's water in. That's electricity is tucked in over in that corner. So. Incineration status is low. We are running out of incinerators. Fortunately, we've got plenty of space for doing that kind of thing. Healthcare. We want to put a... Oh, that's the other thing I was going to do. I was going to... Put a few more crossroads in. So, to make getting back and forth across my pleasant city just that little easier. Let's give me just a little bit more building land here and here. So, next thing we wanted on the list was a small clinic. So let's take what is roughly the centre of the district and start putting the, these buildings on over here. We'll go on that corner. We'll also put a crematorium over here. We'll probably want a little police station. What are you? It's a prison. We don't have any prisoners. Jail capability. Capacity. That's ah, all our prisoners and other places. I think we might well look at installing one of those. Let's put a little police station in. No, because that was the fire station. Then we want a little police station. Really? You're not gonna let me put you there? Oh, it's probably because of the terrain. Okay, go next to the crematorium so the, the whiff of the dead can pollute these guys. Let's stick you... Let's see, what's that symbol? As noise. Wow, you are noisy. Well, let's not put you next to immediately next to a train station. Let's uh, put you over there. So the first thing a lot of people see as they arrive is this now? Does that have power? Not yet. Does it have water? Yes. But I just suddenly noticed that these guys don't. Because I haven't. I haven't pulled it in yet. Let's do a little bit of future plumbing, like normal planet plumbing. But for the future, I will just connect that across. Just in case there's a fire inside, I want to fill that area in. Good, good. Good, good, good. 
do 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 now we need a couple of elementary schools because we're talking high density here, so there's gonna be a lot of them. And we'll also put a one of those in. We'll need a bus route. Create new line from there. Do, 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 do. It's all about making sure you get the right side of the roads on these kind of things. It's a little tricky at times. It's actually going to be quite a long. bus route. And I'm actually going to have it. No. I'm actually going to have it. We back and forth a fair bit. There we go, that's that line started. Ah, that's where we can get our bus lines. So, I want to make you. Very dark purple. Vehicles, passengers, passengers, number of stops. We've got a lot of stops on here. That's the one that goes up and down the centre. And then we are probably going to have to run our first bus stop. That is what we shall call the inter designate the inter district line. So it will go out to this bus stop, then it will stop outside the prison. Wow, that's uh that's not helping. <laughs> we got a point there on the last stand. Maybe that's the cricket. I suppose it comes out of there. That's all about direction, really, isn't it? What are you? You're a graveyard, so stop outside that graveyard. Stop outside the cargo station. No, don't stop outside the guard station. Stop outside the prison. There's no real short way for me to get anywhere. Stop outside there. Then on your way back, stop there. And come round. And we will push this button. We'll have you. And you will be very dark green shiny don't have any of those, don't have the train lines we don't have any of those what else suits me, it's all good Taxi. don't know what information on that, grand yay, not on traffic president you are full, empty Right, so that was education, then we had transport, parks. Piles of big trees, piles of picnic tables. Enormous park. Oh, it's all pretty steep. Go away.
Oh, that should help. <laughs> Let's uh, get a sequence of plazas with picnic tables along the shorefront. And then see what we can do about putting in a few parts this way. That's the enormous one I've already tried to put in. Couple clauses up. This end. Maybe that might just spread the power out a little bit. Alright. Looks like that might be the beginnings of a district. Unique building. I will talk about them later. No unique building just yet. Okay. Speed time up. Yes, I know you don't have any power just yet. Look at the trees, they bobble. Oh, district. Yes, we should name the district. Ocelot Deer, what's the name of our new residential district? The Otterways. Okay, the Otterways. The Ways of the Otter. Why Otterways? Because it's full of canals, and otters like canals. So it's currently called the Woodland District by the game, despite the fact it doesn't have any woods in it. Go game. But we're now going to call it the... Otterways. Hooray for the Otterways. Uh, do we want any policies? Yes, we want parks and recreational, that's all over the place. Let's add the high tech housing. Increase the land value. Slightly a little more what it's spending. NIMBY. <laughs> no loud noises. Um, we don't want high rise band, we want lots of Things. I'm happy to have it like this. Don't want water usage. Smoke detector distribution. Yeah, I'm reasonably fine with that. Recycling, smoking man, pet man. Put an education boost on. And I think we're pretty good. So we'll see just how much over time this costs us. It's going to take a little bit of time before they brain themselves into rationality. And we actually have a connecting power network. Hey, you can see the buses arriving. It's a lot of buses. <laughs> they should be running around by themselves for a fair bit. Mm, okay, fine. Let's uh, run a power line across there. Guys, all plugged up and together. Nice big open space down the middle there. Hopefully, over time. This lot will sort their power problems out. Yes, I've absolutely crashed the residential demand. So much for that one. Turn off the electricity. Do we have any immediate problems? Does not like it. The incineration status is ticking along at a reasonable rate. I wonder if you down over here have finished. No, you are still emptying. Why are you not empty yet? More emptying. Thank you forever. What's your complaint? Not enough customers. Well, I'm sure you'll sort this about soon enough. Nearly done. I can move you all the way over here. 
Wow. Well, I feared this was going to be a problem. Because this is nowhere near as, as efficient as the other exit we've got. And this is doing exactly what I feared it would, which is absolutely jamming up. Because there's traffic lights. Not what I wanted. So traffic lights over here. No. There is there. I'm not going to fuss too much about that. That's it. High speed seagulls. So there isn't traffic lights on that one, but there is on that one. I'm assuming because of how close it is to this. Yes. That was indeed the answer. So let's rebuild that stipway. Send it in Bugarants. How are we going to fix this one in the few minutes we've got remaining? Let's make this the last little task. It's always about the traffic in City Skylines. It's always about the traffic. Let's uh, see if we can get this little slippy road back in there. It's telling me that's the neatest way it can do it. I don't know if you're going to believe it. So this is simply a question of connecting that in the best way. Nope, lights. Well, let's see if. Yes, sky trucks. <laughs> traffic president can do about that. Manual traffic lights. No. Timed traffic lights. Switch traffic lights. No traffic lights. Hmm. This junction, however, is causing me problems. I have an awful lot of trucks and stuff thoroughly and utterly snarled up over here. Let's do a lane change. Uh, change lane arrows. Like that. So both lanes can be leftwards. That's a lot of garbage trucks. That's a vast number of garbage trucks. All heading off to do garbagey things. I think... See, this is moving. In its own kind of peculiar way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... That kind of road junction is not what we need. What we actually need to do is connect these two systems together in a small, sensible place. Like that. So there's enough of a gap between these two. There's enough space here for these guys to pile up. There's not this absurd turn and the end. Uh, it's just, yeah. That makes some damn right more sense. Oh, yeah, it works. Just keep an eye on this to see how much, if it is bad the back. I think it might just be a case of suddenly a load of trucks could become available at short notice. Wow. It's a lot of garbage trucks. Are we having a garbage problem? Not that I can tell. Just a lot of trucks. Suddenly queued up along here. 
It means all the incinerators just dealing with business as they're going along. And suddenly they went, you know what? All our trucks are needed over here. And then suddenly they went all the way over there. So the other ways are starting to fill up, which is what we wanted. Can we prune any power lines? Yay! It's a grand city. We've had a few unique buildings unlocked all over the place, but we now have a solar power plant, which we can't necessarily immediately use because it has not much of a use. I wonder if I stick a park on the corner here. Let's have a Japanese one of these. And switch to power. No, it doesn't quite reach, but it makes life a little better. Um, are you connected? Yes. You anymore? Don't you? I think that's one continuous unit. I have to wait and see how it fills out. Happy days. Don't get a nuclear power plant anytime soon. What have we got? Are we missing anything? Power is trickling down. Sewage treatment. Well, we can go and deal with that immediately before it becomes a problem by putting in another poop treatment station. See how much already the poop water? Slowly beginning to go away because we're now treating the poop rather than just flinging it in the river like monkeys. There we go. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. We've not got much in the way of demand for anything, but these guys will do their business and get ticked up and sort out that lot. Let's just uh, hit the traffic button briefly. Let's see how many passengers we've got on here. 61 or so. Can we sort by passengers? We can indeed. Yeah, that's the line that goes up and down the centre, so it's not that surprising. Lots of passengers and tourists and all that kind of jazz. That's the line that goes backwards and forwards, the other one that goes up and down here. Jellyfish of Horrors. See, the main road is busy, but mostly, mostly it's working. Yeah, it's backing up again. Why? Because you all want to turn left, and there's only one left-hand turning lane. Do do. Hello, traffic presidents. Change lane arrows. Change lane arrows there. You turn that way here. Just hopefully sort that out a little bit so they can actually spit up and tidy themselves out. <laughs> Anyway, where can you not turn left earlier? You can turn left there. You turn left there. Uh, it'll do. Traffic is heavy, but it is flowing ish. So going up and down that main strip is a bit of a pain in the ass, but now at least you can get in it. <laughs> it's backed up with trucks again. Or is this is still vaguely empty? No, I mean, I've tried to be nice to you guys and give yourself, give you guys another way in and out of the system, but no, no, I'm not having it. <laughs> it's just causing me problems. This is working. As much as it can do. There's not too much of a traffic problem with that. You hear the dinging? Endless dinging. Alright. Building is burned down. Oh no! Um... Let me just double check my fire coverage over here. Is there a button for fire risk? No, oh, it's fire safety. So you guys are reasonably covered. You guys apparently have truly awful coverage. All right, let's stick another one over there. And I'm pretty happy with the fire safety on there because the traffic's not too bad. Okay. Grand. Alright. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset, a slightly extended edition because I got distracted by traffic. I always get distracted by traffic. Traffic is distracting. Please remember to like and subscribe, particularly if you are distracted by traffic.